Hello everybody. I am on a mushroom hunt with my family. I just want to show you a few of the mushrooms we have been finding until now. This one, I have no idea what that's called. And these over here. It's also a bit over there. I will show you some pictures and a few video clips while we're here. And uh, yeah, we'll try to clip it together when we're back home at some point. But yeah, it's nice being outside, exploring a bit. Even though my uncle have a bit paranoia when it comes to other people finding his mushrooms. <laughs> it's all fun. So yeah, see you soon. And here we have what my cousins are calling a pig ear. Apparently that's a name. It does not sound very tasty. I believe they're edible. Believe they're edible. I wouldn't eat anything. I wouldn't eat anything, so uh, eat yeah. Anything I know what it is. That's interesting. Oh well. Pig ears for you guys. Here we are with me finding my first morals and there's even two just beside each other. So that's pretty cool. I think they was called morals. Look pretty fancy. So yeah. We're doing pretty great until now. Hope you guys are enjoying these small little clips. Freddy's cousin here. Uh, morels, uh, properly pronounced, are actually very common and really good to eat. Um, so my family likes to eat them quite a bit. We like to go out and find them. We did not think we'd find any while we were here, but we did find quite a few. They do look a lot like a brain, which I find interesting. They're also hollow, which is you wouldn't notice from the outside. Like and little... these morels are, as you can see, a group of four. So I got told that I was killing a whole family. So, uh, well, guess it is what it is. I'm sorry. And now I found another mushroom, which I have no clue what it is. But it is interesting. I think this part here means that they're edible, but I would not trust me because I have no clue about mushrooms. But uh, they are here and they look interesting. There's more of them. So yeah, a few more mushrooms that I was finding. Uh, we think this might be a deer mushroom, but we're not fully sure. And here you guys see something that is not a moral which apparently some people think it is, which I'm not exactly sure how or why they think that, because of it does not really look like it, at least not to me. Uh, if I can get this thing off, wait, so you guys can see it better. Um, but yeah, this is not edible. But yeah, just another one of those non-edible mushrooms. So this quote-unquote false morel is a bit lighter color it's uh so it was really interesting to for me to see that there's actually like more different colors but yeah that is pretty much everything i can say about this mushroom here is a coral mushroom it's really pretty i like that one is this edible yeah it is edible interesting it looks really pretty i don't think i would like to eat it but I could imagine me using them for decorations at some point, if they would stay like this. But something tells me it would not, but still really pretty. I like them. I'm here again. Um, so coral mushrooms are edible. They're pretty good. They're just really difficult to uh, prepare. So they're, they come in different colors. So the one you see here is a yellow one. There's also red ones. There's also some that are built kind of like... Uh, like like clubs almost looks like just like sticks coming out of the ground and there's some that look kind of look like icebergs a little bit so that yeah and they can also be white so here is a snow moral it's uh apparently one that people are confusing with the normal morals morals but i mean if you guys remembering how those looking like i do not see how you can Get confused with these. They don't look that similar to the other one. The other one is a bit more dark brownish and they are well more cone formed and yeah. So 
So it's interesting at least. But uh, yeah, it's just fun to show you guys these as well. Snow morels are a false morel. So they typically appear when, like, after uh, after snow snow melts occur. So you'll find them near snow banks. Um, some people apparently eat these, but you have to cook it a very, very specific way. Otherwise, it's not very good for you. It can hurt your stomach. These are kind of very, like, bulbous, kind of mashed looking compared to normal uh, true morels. But people still mistake them. And... They are another way to tell the difference other than the looks is if you cut them in half, these will be not hollow compared to true morels. So this is an orange peel mushroom. It's technically edible, but I would not eat it because some have described it to taste like rubbery dirt. And so if you do want to eat it, if you are willing, you would have to uh, uh, season it quite a bit to get some taste out of it. These are Kongs. I'm not fully sure which type. Um, so they grow on trees, typically dead ones, like stumps and logs. They sometimes attack living trees. They're very like tough and like woody. They're not edible. I don't think you could fry it. So it feels like wood. Um, so there, we have pictures of three stages of them. So the one you see here is the young one. The next one we have kind of a more mature one. It's got a little more coloring on it. And then the Kind of the elderly one or like it's very dark colored on the top like black and flat these are spring bullets so these are uh babies or babies air quotes um so these instead of having gills like most mushrooms you've seen they are uh, they have pores on the bottom which said that allows them to release their spores so you can see the ones here they're very like very round kind of fat stalks uh we did find some older ones they were very big you know almost a foot in diameter Six inches? Six inches. Uh, but they were old and full of worms. We didn't really want to keep them. And tasty. Um, these are oyster mushrooms. They grow on like, uh, they grow on dead logs. As you can see in this picture. They're the, they're, they grow in kind of shelves. So they're very, uh, they're horizontal. They kind of jut out from the logs. They grow on top of each other, next to each other. They taste really good. And uh, you can also grow these if you buy like a mushroom kit, which is kind of cool. These are earth balls. These are um, a look-alike of puff, uh, puff balls, which we have not seen. So these are hollow in the inside, and you can see, really, if you look closely, you can see the little holes. If you squeeze them, they shoot out spores, kind of as like a little geyser. These are not edible. Please don't eat them. Um, so these, we found these while we were walking. We're not fully sure what they are. It was really pretty, though. This was near the, towards the end of our expedition, finding mushrooms. There was a creek in the background, I believe. Um, this is an earth star. So these are inedible mushrooms that are kind of, they, they're they deep in the ground. They kind of slowly kind of uh, open up like a flower. Um, so they can be, the insides are really pretty colors. So, so there we have uh, purple ones and yellow ones. Not really seen a yellow one before. But I've seen the purple ones. They're pretty open. But the ones we found here are relatively early in that stage. So they've just started to split open. This one is indeed yellow inside, but I feel like it is not the same as the yellow ones because this one looks more like some kind of gooey consistency things that is inside there. And there was a few ants in there as well, so uh, I probably feel like there is something better than that. This is another mushroom we're not fully sure what is. It's got a it's got a little like thin kind of membrane that's covering the, the gills of this. You can kind of see it looks like it's starting to crack. It's probably just a younger mushroom, but I don't know what it is. So basically, we killed a baby. Oh well. So I hope that you guys were enjoying to watch this video. It was a lot of fun making it together with my cousins and also just to be out in the forest looking for mushrooms. I hope to be able to do something like this again in the future, uh, but I'm looking forward to see what you guys think. So feel free to tell in the comments down below what you guys are thinking of this video. Until next time guys, have an amazing time and bye bye